Huge updates to the cooldown manager, sound external, all and debuff tracking. Ow, that's crazy, actually. This release of 11.15 cooldown manager feature. We've been listening to your feedback and are excited to share, share several plans improve or plan improvements. These updates will enhance functionality, customization, ease of use. We aim to consistently iterate and improve upon the cooldown manager. These, these enhancements will be included in future World of Warcraft updates. Please note that these features shared here are still being iterated on and can change. Additionally, any images shown are currently wireframes of the UI, so the final product might look slightly different once it's released on live realms. So, so you know, the 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 menus might change, but broad strokes are probably going to stay the same is what it sounds like. Advanced cooldown settings. One of the strongest pieces of feedback we've received around this, the cooldown manager was what players want to customize their bars and frames to only show specific abilities or to reorder them based on their preference. We're excited to share that the new advanced cooldown setting for players who want to fine-tune and control what their cooldown manager displays. In addition, we are adding a lot more classes and class and specialization abilities that players can opt into tracking. Here's some of the settings that you can modify your cooldown manager with. Dude, this is so funny. This is basically what that add-on did, right? Like pretty much whenever the cooldown manager came out, people were creating an add-on that allowed you to like fully customize your cooldown manager. Now they're actually adding it as a part of the, the base game, which I think is good. Um, you can pick and choose what spells or abilities you want to display or hide, change the order in which these abilities display on the cooldown manager frame, toggle whether mouse over tooltips and ability timers appear, set whether abilities appear in essentials or utility frame, and whether the buffs appear as icons or bar icons or bars. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. They're, they're cooking. <laughs> uh, show unlearned abilities. The player hasn't selected the talent yet. Search for specific abilities. They added picture. Advanced cooldown settings, essential cooldowns, utility cooldowns, not displayed, track buffs, track bars. Wow. Not displayed. Okay, so you can actually drag abilities into the not displayed function as well now so that you're not going to get them on your, your, your cooldown manager bar. So you could actually set up your HUD in a way that you want to. And then you could have all buffs as like a bar. That's interesting. HUD before, HUD after. Now you can actually put them on specific bars, essential cooldowns, utility cooldowns. Okay. So like secondary and tertiary bars. Okay. This is. Reorder can be done inside its own group between essential and utilities group. Reordering a cooldown will automatically reflect it in the HUD. So it'll, it'll, oh, it'll be grayed out in the advanced cooldown settings. Wow. Menu, if you don't have it out to like Soul Reaper here. Shows all unlearned cooldowns and buffs, plus the HUD will update the UI if the player learns that talent. Similar to bags. Ow. Players can customize. Uh, players can search for spells and abilities using the top buff bar, highlighting the spell that they are looking for. With these new customization options, players can track as many or few abilities as they like. In our UI images below, you can see an example of an Holy Death Knight with default cooldown manager settings. An example displaying some of the additional upcoming tracking options. I think that they need to be able to track like resources. I think I think a like a, a better resource tracker besides a personal resource display would actually be super useful here. Cause I don't know how like all, everybody else's class works, but like say for for Ellie Shaman or say for Moon or something like that. Like I really need to be able to track my astral power. And and I tend to I mean how players tend to put um, set up their HUDs is they'll they'll track like their resource in the middle of their screen. But I mean I, I guess they could do something like that. I mean this looks kind of, this looks a lot better. This this looks a lot more usable. Because one of the things that I did on Beast Mastery Hunter, whenever I was playing that for a while, is I just used like uh, additional action bars from LVUI to track my cooldowns in the middle of my screen, or track the cooldowns that I was looking for in the middle of my screen. And I mean, now that this is this is kind of in a similar vein, with addition to that as well, you have buffs and debuff track. I think this bar functionality too for the. The buff tracking is sweet. I think that that was... They were kind of cooking with this one. The Oh my gosh. Yeah, these bars... 
Huh. This looks good, actually. I actually think this looks good. Huh. Debuff tracking. Another piece of feedback we received is that players want the ability to be able to track their dot effects and other important debuffs on their uh, on their target in the cooldown manager. We plan to let players opt into tracking their offensive dots in either a new frame or as a part of a, the existing cooldown manager, like the advanced cooldown manager option. This is good. I mean, I play a fucking bunch of specs. So they can track what they want to. This is cool. You also have different states, whether they're applied, missing, or about to expire, or in the pandemic window, or if they're all cooled out entirely. What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on, they're actually cooking. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second, they are cooking. Uh, if a player selects a target that's a debuff applied, the cooldown manager... I mean, this is exactly what most people have with their, their cooldown tracking right now. I mean, this is exactly how I how I track my uh, like flame shock on targets. Like, I'll walk up to this mob, I'll dot it. It'll show that the the flame shock is on the target, and then it'll show like how long. Dude, this is sweet. That's how most people like track their dots now too. Where it, it'll glow. It, like I have a glow effect on all of my tracking whenever things are about to pandemic. Pandemic is also such like a a, a really weird mechanic where you need to know that thirty percent of your dots can be refreshed for free, but not knowing that is also hard to know. Like that's. Uh, I wonder if you can combine some stuff. Like, can you combine storm alley duration and cooldown in one space? Yeah, that's that would be nice. Being able to combine them both on the same frame. I, I suspect the answer is probably. I think you would be able to track it as like a buff, right? Like, I, I think that you'd be able to track like storm alley duration as a buff, but then you would have to put in like the essential states, like the the cooldown of it or something like that. If I had to wager a guess, I, I don't know about in the same space. Probably not on the same frame if i had to wager a guess but i guess we'll see maybe th maybe they'll say something about it but it might have to be something we look at in the future big defensive tracking from some players mostly tank classes we also heard that they want to be able to see if another player has used external abilities or buffs with the duration on them such as pain suppression or life can support this we're adding additional optional frames that can track the use of these external enhancements whether they're active and whether they're active wait what <laughs> that that is cool can you add anything to this or is it only like specific is it only specific externals they, they're adding omni cd in the game what the fuck is going on i think it's external abilities or buffs with a duration on this such as pain suppression or life cocoon like could you track chaos nova like, could you track power? I mean, power infusion probably falls in line with this. Was this, you say only active on me. Is that is that true? That's not what that read. That's not what this reads as. To support this, we're adding additional optional frame that can track the use of these external enhance. Oh, whenever they're active on your character. Okay, never mind. This fucking sucks. It, okay, if it's only whenever it's active on your character, it's way less good. <laughs> It's way less good if it's only whenever it's active on your character. Yeah, no, you're right. Because that's not what I re that's not what I read it as the beginning. I was like, holy shit. Uh, sound alerts to better alert players when an buffer and ability becomes available or is active. We're adding the ability to configure your sounds notifications on a case by case basis. If you like an audio notification tied to one of your class abilities, you can figure that with a unique alert. I use these for some things like. Uh, Apex Predator Prox on Feral Druid, I would use it for. Um, I think it's good. Additional edit mode customizations in addition to those above. We'll get some QOL updates for the cooldown manager and its associated frames. We're exploring other potential updates such as resizing and repositioning the elements of the cooldown manager with a greater flexibility. This needs to happen. Saving different cooldown manager configuration profiles that can be swapped during different types of content. Like raids versus Mythic Plus, I guess. In addition to the above, we're also taking steps to make the various portions of the cooldown manager more uh, UI more accessible and discoverable in the options menu. Looking ahead, as we continue to look forward to introducing these improvements and future updates, we remain committed to refining and expanding the features based on your feedback. We look forward to supporting the wider community and their needs. 
as we continue to iterate on the quota manager. Okay, so, I mean, these are all good. I actually don't think that any of these I'm necessarily upset about. What would I want to continue to see iterated on? So I think the dot stuff, I think the dot functionality was required. What is, I think that the uh, resource bar, I think the resource bar functionality is something that has to change if you're gonna actually get people off of um, their current UI. Like that to me is like one of the things that it's so common to have classes with with a bunch of different resources and tracking them on the player frame. Like uh, look at this picture right here. They're like tracking it on the player frame. You have to be able to, I think, track you know both runic power and runes and have something that's available for you to be able to move. Um, a resource bar on the cooldown manager has to happen, especially for classes that have multiple resources too. Like it can't just be your main resource, right? For DK, it can't just be runic power. It has to be both your resources. Like for rogues, it can't just be combo points. It needs to be combo points and energy. Um, I think that that's pretty important. Trinkets and potions. Oh yeah, trinkets and potions. I think that that's, that's a pretty big one. Um, I think that button glow, like this, this glow functionality, uh, I think that glow functionality would actually be pretty solid too. I do think this is all a really good start. I don't think that this, this isn't in the state where it's like, okay, this is completely replacing weak auras, but if somebody uh, like started the game today and didn't want to use weak auras, could they use this instead? I think the answer is probably yes. Now, like at some point you would want a little bit more information than what you're currently gathering from this. But I actually, don't, I do think that this is a really good step in the right direction. Multiple secondary bars. Yeah, it seems like right now there's only very specific bars where it's essential cooldowns, utility cooldowns, and not displayed. I think that if you... I think that further customization and adding a different, like, essential cooldown bar and stuff like that, uh, I think that that would be... That would be nice. Yeah, like, defensives. Like, if, if you want a defensives and utility and have them on separate bars, I think that's a good, good way of looking at it, too. Yeah. You can only track what they can say you can track, dude. No, no, no. I think this is I think this is all pretty sweet though. Like I think that all of these changes, I wish they released the cooldown manager like this, pr frankly. If they released the cooldown manager like this, people wouldn't clown on it so much. This is way this is way closer to weak auras than they have been. Um I think the closer that they can get to a, a more modular and customizable HUD, similar to what I have whenever I'm utilizing weak auras right now, the the better that they're going to get for the game. I think that that's going to be. I think they're. I think they're getting close here. The big defensive tracking stuff. I I know that they want Omni CD to go away. I think if they would allow you to be able to preemptively track some specific abilities. Now I don't think it has to be everything. Like, I understand that they don't want you to be utilizing Omni CD and being able to see everybody's kick and defensive and offensive CD and everything like that. But I do think that if they if they added something that was more preemptive for the big defensive tracking, instead of only being able to track these in an optional frame when they're active on your character, that would be nice. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think this is I think this is starting to get into a good spot. If they, if you could also track I mean I know I don't give a fuck about PvP really. If you could track diminishing returns somehow. I think that DR is such a core part of PvP and such like a really under the hood type of thing. If you could track DR somehow on your own UI, I think that that would be reasonable. This is yeah, this is this is their first real iteration on it after the initial release and I think that um, if they continue to iterate on it, I actually think that they could get this to a spot where weak auras could get, get, get seamlessly sunset out of people's UIs. It would be a pain in the ass because now you have to create a new UI, but I think that this, this is probably a step going in the right direction. Biggest problem I see is most players already forgotten that the cooldown tracker exists because it's so useless when it came out. I think that there's a chance that weak auras just as an add-on get removed from the game at some point. That seems to me to be like the direction that they're going with with weak auras is not just like, oh, we're reducing computational functionality. No, they're, they're going to lock down a bunch of their, it looks like they're going to lock down a bunch of their API calls and, and the weak auras add-on seems like it's going to get deleted at some point. Um, what will come with import and export options? That's what it seemed like. 
it seemed like there was going to be some import and export functionality and it seemed like there was going to be some functionality where you could change it based on um game mode type or it would seamlessly change based on game mode type this is all way easier to customize than actual weak auras yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, re I'm really interested in seeing where they go with this though i mean this is not bad this is all these are all good changes can I make those icons not do stupid global swirly? Yeah, I mean, I think that more more VFX customization options too, like potential glow effects on specific abilities, pandemic glow, uh, you know, if you wanted something to bounce whenever it came up. I think that stuff like that, very minor things that are part of what makes Weekor super cool. I think that stuff like that would be nice, like really like highlight features too. The ability to be able to we anchor weak auras to frames that adaptively change size is nice. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I think that that's probably a little bit too advanced for what they're going with for this specifically. That is nice. That is nice functionality. I don't think they're going for some shit like that. Being able to use one or two ability trackers to be poggers. Yeah, I think that more more bars that you can use, like the essential cooldown bars, the utility cooldown bars, being able to set it up to where it's like, okay, I don't actually want any utility cooldown bars. I just want two essential cooldown bars and I'm going to stack them on top of one another. I think that would be nice. Or like a, one utility cooldown bar that's just uh, CC and one utility cooldown bar that's just defensives and stack those on top of those. Um, that would be nice. I don't really know when this is coming. I actually don't... These enhancements will be included in future World of Warcraft updates. I'm kind of expecting that, the, that they're going to come in the War Within. Because otherwise they wouldn't have just like randomly announce this. But I guess they didn't really say. Resource management. Yeah, I think that resource management is the, the obvious one. I think that resource management, like I said earlier, I think that's the obvious one that they have to fix. In a point five, yeah, like eleven two five, maybe twelve oh. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. This is really sweet. This is way cooler than I thought. I was gonna be. <laughs> I, first on it. I thought it was gonna be like nothing. This is actually they're cooking. <laughs> oh god, I thought it was gonna be nothing. <laughs> nameplates, yeah, nameplates. Nameplates are due for a pretty big overhaul. Nameplates are in the game base game are fucking terrible. Nameplates just convey so much information. In the base game, they're just turbo ter terrible. Like it's impossible to play the game without good nameplates. Okay. Back to Mythic Plus. I need one more dungeon. I need to do a Priory of the Sacred Flame. By the way, guys, I'm pretty sure in Priory you want to go right now. Pretty sure you want to go right now. Even if people don't use Wake Wars, I feel like everybody uses player. I think that everybody does. I don't think that everybody wants to. Like, I don't think I don't think I don't think that everybody wants to though. It's, Steve doing the countdown, dude. Stop. <laughs> default nameplates are just ass. Yeah, like if default nameplates, if default nameplates didn't suck, and if the cooldown manager existed ten years ago, people wouldn't be so reliant on weak auras, and people wouldn't be using plater. It's more of like a a use by virtue of the the tools that Blizzard gives you just fucking suck. <laughs> 